Okay, so in today's video, I have part two of Hocus Pocus inspired DIYs. You all seem to really like part one and who doesn't love Hocus Pocus? So I came up with a ton of easy to make Dollar Tree Hocus Pocus DIYs for you. So let's just get right on into it. Okay, first up is this super easy hocus pocus, I need candy to focus candy jar. I found this spider piece at Dollar Tree and I thought this was perfect for a project. So I also got this piece of glass from Dollar Tree, this jar in the candle section. It fit the base of the spider holder perfectly. And then I have this printable, which will be in the description box. Or of course, if you know, if my links aren't working, you can always email me for those printables. Um, I will have that also down in the description box, my email. So I am just Mod Podging this on, and then I'm gonna Mod Podge over. Now any of the Mod Podge that kind of looks smeared, you could just take a baby wipe or, um, a wet paper towel to smooth that away. And then once that is on, I'm just gonna take some of the warm buff um, acrylic paint and then dry brush that. Now, of course, since this is paper, you're just going to want to rinse this with like a wet rag and not get the paper wet. But how cute is this and perfect for Halloween. And this is a perfect project to make since my youngest is potty training. So this is her reward jar and it's Hocus Pocus themed. It can't get any better. Now, keeping with the candy theme, we're gonna make this Hocus Pocus trick-or-treating sign. Now, I am using this sign from Dollar Tree that has a little spinny thing in the middle. If you cannot find this sign, you can still recreate this project. You're just gonna need one of those Velcro fastener dots from Dollar Tree so you can make the little um, candy status sign interchangeable. But what I'm doing for this, you can paint it, but I am taking some black shiplap scrapbook paper and I'm gonna cut that out. Make sure that you, if you are using scrapbook paper, when you trace, make sure you leave room to cut out the hole in the middle. And then the way that I like to do it is just kind of fold it in the middle and then start cutting from there before I apply. Now, of course, you can always, like I said, paint this as well. And I did pre-sand down the sparkly lettering that was on this sign before I went ahead and glued the scrapbook paper. Then for the middle section, I decided just to paint both sides black. I did have some cut out scrapbook paper, but I just didn't like the way that it lined up and black paint works fine. Now I again have a printable for this and many of the projects in this video. And if you do have difficulty downloading them, always email me. A lot of you have, and I've given you the PDFs directly. Just let me know what video or what printable you want, and I will gladly give that to you. So I decided just to laminate these. Um, you don't have to. Uh, originally, I was not sure if I was going to put this outside on my porch or on my front door, so that's why I did. Um, but I just went ahead and trimmed these before applying them. And then the nice thing is, since I did laminate them, I can use some hot glue to attach them, which I like to use versus the spray adhesive, which smells and then obviously glue stick is not strong enough. Once the printables are attached, I'm just going to take a piece of macrame cord. You can use jute or string, and I'm just going to take hot glue and a craft stick to secure that so I have an option to hang this. And I think this is really cute. It incorporates the I Smell Children famous line in Hocus Pocus, and it's also something fun you could put on your porch and let people know if you have candy or if you're out, you could just flip it over and let them know.
So what is a Hocus Pocus video without some Binks? themed decor. So not too long ago, I made this Sleepy Hollow sign using a Dollar Tree tray. And I love this tray and you can convert it like I did to a sign. So I did the same thing with the dry brushing. And then I'm just going to add this printable, which is the Hocus Pocus spell for Binks. And I'm just going to glue that on and then dry brush around it. So it looks a little bit more aged. Now going in with a warm buff, I'm going to dry brush over the printable so that it looks a little bit more aged and goes with the look I was going for more. And warm buff is one of my favorite dry brushing colors. Um, I just think it's so pretty. Next up, we're gonna make this Binks wall decor piece. So I found this cat cut out at Dollar Tree and I was like, this is perfect for a Binks project. And I'm gonna go ahead and give the cat a coat of Waverly's ink chalk paint. Now I used a foam brush to start out with and then I went in with a smaller brush to get around the pumpkin. Um, I like these wood cutouts, but sometimes they're like a little bit challenging to paint. Um, with a foam brush, so sometimes a smaller brush is needed. And then for the pumpkin, we're gonna do a combination of a kind of a dry brush technique to make it look really just old, um, using Arteza's terracotta or any type of like kind of camel colored brown would work. And then I also went back over that with some black ink chalk paint. Now I wanted the cutout of this printable to look kind of like age, like a ripped page. So Dollar Tree does sell these type of scissors that give you the different edges, but my daughter has like a ton of these in her little craft section. Um, so I decided to borrow one of hers since that's what we do. We always borrow each other's um, things. Mostly the girls borrow my crafting stuff, but I used this just to give it a little bit more character. And then I went ahead and glued that on. And then I just went ahead and dry brushed. I know like you wouldn't see a cat with dry brushing, but it just makes the sign prettier. And let me know in the comments. I have to admit, I'm not a big cat person. Um, I'm more of a dog person, but Binks I think is the cutest cat and I would totally have him <laughs> as my pet. Probably the only cat that I would. Um, yeah, I think he's just so cute and I had to do a Binks project for this video. Now to hang this, I'm gonna take some macrame cord. Again, jute would work fine. Um, I'm not doing any type of macrame knot for this. I just made a basic knot on the bottom and then braided um, just to have a little piece that if I wanted to, I can hang this up. But if you don't wanna do that, you can always just use a command strip to hang this up as well.
So I'm going to link this inspiration piece. I saw this on Pinterest a while ago and I knew I had to do something to put my own spin on it and recreate it. So I was so excited when I found these exact shades of yarn at Dollar Tree. They are the exact shades that I wanted. And I'm gonna go ahead and make my own version of a Hocus Pocus witch tassel. So to start, I'm using this little cutting mat as a reference, it's six inches across. And I'm going to make a tassel for each of the colors, wrapping them around 25 times. Now, of course, when it comes to tassels, and I've made a lot on my channel, um, as you know, the more you wrap around, just basically the more dense or thicker the tassel is going to be. So I'm going to do the same exact thing for all three of the tassels. I'm just going to show you it on the first one, which would be Sarah's tassel with the purple. And Dollar Tree actually has a really good selection of yarn um, with a ton of different colors. So once I have this trimmed, I am going to create my tassel and then we're going to start adding the wood bead. And then I'm going to add a Dollar Tree little mini uh, witch hat to it so that we have our which tassel. Once you have the piece gathering in the or on the top, you're going to take another piece of yarn and then just kind of cinch that and that's what makes the head of the tassel. Now to make this into a hocus pocus type tassel, you're first going to start out with two knots on the top and then I sealed the wood bead that I added. I used a large wood bead with some hot glue. Then I took the three pack of those witch hats. I took the sticks off and we're going to attach the those with some hot glue once we seal that wood bead. And then I did this for all three witches. I left the Dollar Tree witch hats the way they were. And then I had this shim left over that I dry brushed that I thought I was going to use for a different project, but I didn't. So even the Dollar Tree scrap craft would have worked fine for this or a dowel. And I am just going to hot glue all three witches hats to the front of this shim before adding some cord so I can hang this. I think this is so cute. Let me know what you think. I think this is just a fun, different take on a Hocus Pocus project. And if you are not new to my channel, you know the love for tassels and macrame and pom-poms are real. So when I can incorporate a tassel into a project, it's a good day. So like I said, I'm gonna take some macrame cord. I'm just gonna loop it around either side to hang this. And that is it for this project. Next up are these two really easy Hocus Pocus themed tear tray signs or just small pieces of decor. So I love these wood houses from Dollar Tree. They're in the crafter square section and they're kind of wood pile. Um, Target Dollar Spot does have a three pack of different size ones, which I've done in a recent video. So that's an option as well if you cannot find these houses. For the first house, I'm just gonna take some black chalk paint that was left on my brush and I'm going to dry brush this, kind of let the paint lay where it once and just do one coat of this and this is going to be the Billy Butcherson piece of uh, tear tray decor. For the next sign I'm going to take some of this buffalo check um, vinyl from Dollar Tree. You can also use scrapbook paper or you can paint this one as well and I'm just going to 
lay that on. I do like this Buffalo Check um, vinyl. I think it's a little bit thicker than the other Dollar Tree vinyl, but again, scrapbook paper would do the same thing. And then I'm going to add this printable that I made to the Buffalo Check one. And then for the Billy Butcherson, I actually bought the file from Etsy. It's a PNG, so if you don't have a cutting machine, you can just print that out. And I'm gonna link that Etsy shop down below. Um, but these are so cute. I love them. Just a more farmhousey way to get some Sanderson sister and Billy Butcherson decor. For our next project, you need three of these wood pumpkin cutouts from Dollar Tree. And we're going to do one for each sister. So we're going to do Mary's in a red, Winnie's in green, and then Sarah's in purple. And these are all our Tezza paints, but you can use any paint that you have. So for all three of the pumpkins, I did the same thing. These wood cutouts have a little bit of a raised um, part on them. So for each of those main colors, I only painted the cutout and then we're gonna go back once we put this piece together and we are going to do some dry brushing with black. But for now, just take those three colors and paint the raised parts of the pumpkin. Once all the pumpkins are painted and dried, we're going to lay them on this chalkboard from Dollar Tree. If you don't have this, just any of the Dollar Tree seasonal long signs or even some scrap wood would do fine. So I wanted to top these pumpkins off with the witch hat cutouts from Dollar Tree. You get eight in a pack and I just painted all three of them black, as you could see. Um, I just thought this would be a cute topper for these pumpkins. Now it is time to hot glue. So for these, I just kind of had the pumpkins going in opposing directions, starting out with Winnie's, then I'm gonna add Mary's, and then Sarah's on the bottom. And I was so excited to have these paint colors in my craft stash because they are like true to the Hocus Pocus video, or not video, movie. I'm so used to saying video because YouTube, movie. <laughs> And once the pumpkins are added, it is time to glue these hats on them. And these are just so cute. I wasn't sure what direction I was going to go with this project. Honestly, like a lot of my projects I plan in advance, but let me know if you're like this too. I feel like once I get going with crafting, I just kind of come up with other ideas. So this was a completely unplanned project, but I think it turned out so cute. And the hats, I think just are so much cuter than seeing the pumpkin stems. So I'm gonna add these decals, but I do have a printable version of the silhouettes of the sister's hair, which of course, like I said, I'll have down below. And again, I know I keep saying it, I just want to remind you that if you do have difficulties with the links and the printables, I'm trying to figure out another way to share those with you guys, but you can always email me and I have an entire PDF folder with just the printables for this video, so I will gladly send that to you. So I felt like this needed a little something extra, totally optional, but for the inner grooves of the pumpkins, I'm just going to dry brush a little bit with some black ink chalk paint that I've been using in this video. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the warm beige just to kind of lighten that as well. Thank you. 
And that is it for this project. This would be so cute on a front porch. Lots of different ways you can style this, but it is a perfect Sanderson sister DIY. One of my favorite lines from Hocus Pocus is when Winnie says, sisters? I'm not gonna say it the way she does because I'll sound obnoxious even though I just tried. But I'm gonna do a frame that's gonna incorporate that. So this is from Michaels. You can also use the Dollar Tree frames. They have ones just like this, but the Michaels one's a little bit cheaper. And I went ahead and painted that in, you guessed it, ink chalk paint. I have a really... <laughs> fun habit of just kind of picking a few paint colors per video and sticking to that but I feel like black for a hocus pocus or Halloween video is appropriate. I lost the footage for it somehow but all I did once that paint was dry is I went in with warm buff, dry brushed it to make it look aged and then took another one of those um, witch hats, the wood cutouts and I painted that purple and then dry brushed that. Then I took a Dollar Tree sticker label and then I just wrote out sisters on it. That's it. And I thought this was perfect because I have two girls. So I like um, putting out like some seasonal pictures that I have of them. So I thought this was really fun to do. Okay, next up I found this really cute cauldron chalkboard piece from the Target Dollar Spot. It's perfect for a tiered tray. It's $3 and really sturdy. Now, like I said, it's a chalkboard, so you could just write on it with um, a piece of chalk or a chalk marker. Um, I went in Cricut Design Space and I liked the font of this, so I just had um, a decal made instead in purple. But again, if you don't have a Cricut, you could just write. I'm just not crazy about my handwriting sometimes, so that's why I went the decal route. But really simple, a quick project, perfect for a tiered tray. Our next project is this really fun Sanderson Witch Museum sign. So for this, I took this kind of haunted house wood cutout from Dollar Tree and I dry brushed it to make it look really kind of old with some black chalk paint. I'm excited to see the cutouts that Dollar Tree has for Christmas. Um, because this year for fall, they had so much more than they usually do. So I'm definitely excited to see what they have around Christmas time because isn't that what crafters do? We already think about Christmas crafting. So I'm going to apply this kind of a wood applique. This is from Hobby Lobby. It was like $2.99, super cheap. Um, you can also get stuff like this. I know like in the wood section of like a Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, but this is at Hobby Lobby, like I said, under $3, and I think this just adds a really pretty kind of decorative touch. I dry brushed that, and then while that's drying, I took an 11 by 14 flat panel canvas from Dollar Tree and this printable that I made, and I am going to trim this out and then attach it to our canvas at the top. So that's attached, it is time to do that same black chalk paint and just dry brush all over this panel canvas.
next up is this Sanderson Sisters bed and breakfast sign. This is perfect for a wreath insert or on a front door. So for this, I'm taking this pumpkin sign from Dollar Tree, flipping it over and we're gonna work with the back, but I'm gonna keep the hangers because we are going to reuse them. So again, we're gonna use these kind of jagged edge scissors the Dollar Tree does sell these, but like I said, I just used my daughter's. Um, and I'm going to cut these out before applying them to the top and bottom of our pumpkin sign. Now for the pumpkin itself, I decided to paint it black. And then the bottom, I left the MDF kind of the way that it was and dry brushed the black so that it looked a little bit different and had a contrast from the top of the pumpkin. I will link my first Hocus Pocus project. I did a Sanderson Sisters potion um, hanging piece that had a sign similar with the little like um, strings that you can attach. These are really good. So if you're recreating this, I definitely would not throw them away. Um, once everything is reattached, I went in again with my favorite warm buff. I just dry brushed over the printable on the top as well as the pumpkin and there you go. Another easy door hanging sign is this Sanderson Sister Museum this way and the Grave of Billy Butcherson this way sign. So Dollar Tree always has these witch hat signs every year, I've seen at least. So I sanded down the glitter on the signs, left the glitter on the hat as is because I didn't mind it. And then I just painted the middle, leaving the edges kind of the way that they were. We're gonna cover this anyway with the printable. I just didn't want the wording to show through the printable, so that's why I did that. So once that's painted and dried, we are going to add the two printables that I had. And again, I will have those available for you if you would like to recreate this. And we're just going to glue them on. Now this is optional, but I feel like a lot of Halloween signs just look better with dry brushing or make them look more dirty and aged. Um, so I just went ahead again with that warm buff and went over the printable just so that it gave it that effect. Our next three DIYs are part of this kind of like a vignette that I have going. All free printables. One I used as an SVG with my Cricut, but can also be printed out in some sticker paper. For the first one, it's this black candle coat printable. Again, using these kind of jagged edge scissors. Um, I'm having a lot of fun using these. I'm probably gonna use them a lot more. Um, I don't know why I just find them fun to use. Um, I'm gonna cut out this printable and then add it to this LED candle from Dollar Tree with some Mod Podge. So to start out, I'm gonna add the Mod Podge on the back of the printable and then once I place it where I want, I'm just gonna go over top to make sure that it is secure before I go in with my dry brushing.
Dollar Tree has some really nice jars. So I found this one and then I'm gonna add this decal to it. It's perfect for a coffee bar and I can add um, coffee to it, like K-cups, ground coffee, even tea bags to it. I always like switching out the jars that I use in my coffee bar. So this was a fun little useful project for that. And then not too long ago, I used this wood bead little sign. I added this printable. I used the same one and I made this glorious morning coffee brewers. It says our coffee is so glorious, it'll make you sick. <laughs> um, a little spinoff on the original quote from the movie. And then, like I said, I put some K-cups in here and I have this on my coffee bar and I think this is so cute. Just a subtle kind of more farmhousey way to incorporate some hocus pocus decor. Next up is this Sanderson Diner kind of food board. I had fun with this one. Um, I just realized that these long signs with the pumpkin cutout are in fact chalkboards. I tested it out. I used regular chalk and a chalk marker and I was able to get it off. So that makes this project really fun. So for the little pumpkin cutout, I glued this little Billy Butcherson um, printable that I got from Etsy just to kind of fill it in. And then I loved this galvanized witch hat that I found from Dollar Tree. And I went ahead, hot glued that on top just to have a little like witch hat accent. And it also covers the holes that are on the top. And then I went ahead and used my chalk marker and I wanted this to be like a Sanderson sister diner where every food special had to do with someone in the movie. So these are what I came up with. Winnie's Waffles, Mary's Muffins, Sarah's Scramble, Bink's Breakfast Burrito, the Butcherson Omelet, and the Denison Deviled Eggs. And I think this is such a fun take on Hocus Pocus characters. really into reading lately so I made this fun bookmark that I just cut out and laminated with a printable that I made and it says when I am not busy being the fourth Sanderson sister you can find me curled up with a good book this is just like a fun just printable that I made and if you want you can laminate it and have a fun Halloween hocus pocus bookmark On this wood pumpkin at the Target craft section. Now I will say Target's crafting section, in my opinion, leaves a lot to be desired versus like a Walmart. But this was a really good quality pumpkin, a great base. It was $5 and I'm just adding this decal that I made. Um, but I did make this also into a printable. So if you don't have a Cricut, you can go ahead and just transfer this as a printable. I did add a little tassel with some wood beads similar to the tassel hanging that I did before. And I paired this with the Spellbook tear tray sign that I made in my first Hocus Pocus video, which I will have linked down below. And this is just a really easy, quick, Hocus Pocus Pumpkin. Next up is this fun kind of Hocus Pocus faux book stack. So for this, I'm taking one of these Dollar Tree wood crates and I'm just using a Sharpie. You can also use decals if you want, but I just decided to write what I wanted with the Sharpie before adding the little witch hat topper to this. And once I have everything written, I'm just gonna take some burnt 
sienna paint and then I'm going to dry brush over that to make it look a little more aged. Now I did provide a witch hat printable which I cut out and laminated. The reason I laminated it was to give it a little more stability since we're going to prop it on top of this but if you have a like heavy cardstock you want to print it on I would suggest doing that if you don't want to laminate it and have the extra step like I did but truth be told I really just like to laminate so I'm fine with that. Now to prop this up, I used a Dollar Tree tumbling tower block, hot glued that, and then kind of propped the hat up. And then I took a craft stick that I hot glued behind that just to make sure that it stands up. And I think this turned out super cute. Let me know what you think. For our last project, it is this Here Rest William Butcherson sign. Now I found this big sign from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and painted it black and then I had a random wood cutout that was broken. Um, I don't think it survived my kids playing with it. So I dry brushed that in black and then I did cut out a piece of white paper just to fill in the... Um, lettering so you could see it against the black sign and then I'm using those same kind of jagged scissors to cut out the printable. Once everything is cut, it is time to just glue. Like I said, I did add some paper there because I realized that the black background made the wording a little bit difficult to see. And then once I had everything attached, I did some dry brushing and that is it for this really fun project. I feel like Billy Butcherson is kind of a forgotten character sometimes in Hocus Pocus and I personally like him. I think he's funny. So I wanted to incorporate him in some of these projects. So there you have it, part two of Hocus Pocus DIYs. I shared 21 ideas with you today. Like I said, I will have part one down below in the description box or pinned as a comment in case you want to see it. I love Hocus Pocus. It's one of my favorite Halloween fall movies. So I had a lot of fun creating these projects for you and definitely let me know if you plan on recreating any or which of these was your favorite. If you are not already subscribed, I invite you to do so and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. So if you enjoy my content, make sure that you either share or give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel out and it also lets me know what you guys like so I can create more of what you guys all want to see. See. So as always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today on my channel. I hope you all are doing well and I will see you in the next one. Bye.